Miss Minnesota. Good evening, I'm Barbara Peterson from Edina, Minnesota. 1858, Miss Minnesota, Barbara Peterson. 1859, our next semi-finalist is Miss Minnesota. Look on out here to me, Miss Minnesota. Miss Minnesota is Barbara Elaine Peterson. She's from Edina. She's a student at St. Olaf College. And uh, what do you study? I'm a triple major. I'm in speech communications, political science, and American studies. When you decide to go to school, you decide to take the whole curriculum, <laughs> huh? Well, I'm hoping to get into law school. What, uh, what does your father do? My father's on the Supreme Court of Minnesota. If you don't win, you can always appeal, can't you? <laughs> huh? Well, we'll wait and see. Now, Peterson uh, is a Scandinavian name. Oh, it definitely is. It's Swedish. Do you speak Swedish? Just a little. Would you say thank you to all these nice people from Niagara Falls in Swedish? That would be something like, Det har varit en trevlig besök att hälsa på alla er från svenska amerikaner från Minnesota. Is there a short... Just a moment. Just a moment. I've got to know something. Is there a shorter way to say thank you in Swedish? Oh, definitely. Just munga tak. All I have to say to you is munga tak. Thank you, Miss Minnesota. Now, Miss Georgia comes trotting Miss Minnesota. Dark brown hair, brown eyes. Barbara is 22. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 120 pounds. Miss Washington. Miss Minnesota. Miss Minnesota. Is a Sagittarian, honest, down to earth, and right on. She's so generous that she often neglects herself in order to devote all her energies to helping others. Miss Washington. Next, Miss Minnesota. And Miss Minnesota, would you come right down here, please, and choose one of these two questions? You want that one? Mm -hmm. That question is, if you could learn instantly to speak... This is a perfect question for you after you're Swedish. If you could learn instantly to speak, read, and write another language, which language would you choose and why? I think I would choose the language of French because it's one of the more international languages that's involved in both law and politics. And in doing so, it would be able, I would be able to continue communicating with the diverse cultures, religions, economic societies, and promote, perhaps, a better understanding among all men. Thank you, Miss Minnesota. <laughs> Miss Louisiana, would you come down to me? Now, will both of you please step down here to me? Now, girls, one of you is about to become Miss USA. The other will be the first runner-up. And this is a position that is very important because if for any reason Miss USA cannot fulfill her obligation for the full year, the first runner-up will serve as Miss USA. Now, the first runner-up is Miss Michigan, and you are Miss USA, Miss Minnesota. Barbara Peterson is Miss USA. Congratulations. Just a moment ago, you were standing beside me as Miss Minnesota. Now you're the new Miss USA. And Barbara, that means the cash award and all those wonderful prizes are yours. And it means you are going to represent our country in the Miss Universe beauty pageant in Hong Kong when it's telecast right here on CBS on Saturday night, July 10th. Now, Miss USA, Barbara Peterson, Will you first take your first official walk? 
There you go. As your predecessor, Summer Bartholomew reached the Miss USA Creed. We, the young women of the USA, believe people everywhere are seeking peace, tolerance, and mutual understanding. We pledge to spread this message in every way we can, wherever we go. say to the judges who selected you. Mung attack. <laughs> yes. Thank you and sweetie. And is there something that you'd like to say to the girls now you've met here in the pageant? All these girls could wear this crown that I have, but I'm just ex extremely lucky this time. Well, you are certainly uh, worthy, Miss USA, too. And this has been a marvelous audience here in this beautiful convention center in Niagara Falls. What would you like to say to them? Mung attack also. <laughs> are your parents here, Barbara? They sure are. Are they here? Well, they must be very proud. Is there someone back in Minnesota that you're going to call just the very moment you have a chance? Oh, I don't know who I'm going to call first. What are you going to do with the $7,500 you've won? I don't even know. That's Haven't you even given that thought? And you also have a contract for $7,500 for personal appearances. So you have $1,500 total. That's a lot of money for you to spend, Barbara. I hope I can do it well for the United States. Well, I'm sure you're going to do well. What are you looking forward to most in this year? Meeting the people and trying to represent our country, of which I'm very proud. Well, you'll be traveling from coast to coast here in the United States, and of course, you'll be traveling all over the world, too. Now, are there countries that you've looked forward to all your life, to visiting, I mean? I guess every little girl looks so over the fence to thinking that maybe there are greener pastures on the other side, and now it's my chance to see. Well, it is indeed. And you heard my conversation with Summer Bartholomew. Have you two dreamed, when you were a little girl, of one day standing on a stage like this with a crown and a, a bouquet like this? Uh, my neighborhood activity was with Paula, Susan, Jeannie, um, Mary, and we all played Miss Universe till we were blue in the face. Let's go back and play Miss USA right now, should we? There she is, Barbara Peterson of Minnesota, our beautiful new Miss USA. And on behalf of Barbara, this is Bob Barker saying good night, everybody. She's beautiful, all right, Barbara Peterson from Minnesota. She's now Miss USA. And don't forget, she'll be competing for the Miss Universe crown in Hong Kong. Saturday night, July 10th, right here on CBS. So please plan to join us, okay? Thank you for spending this wonderful evening with us. Good night. Miss USA Beauty Pageant has been brought to you by All Temperature Cheer for the way you wash today. And by Came for your beautiful complexion. And by Lemon Fresh Joy for dishes so shiny you can...